A large number of customers purchased Newport optical power meters, 1936R and 2936R. Today we're working with the 2936R because of its unique measurement capabilities when working with a pulsed or modulated light source. Optimizing the filter setting is crucial in making accurate measurements. I will show you how to set the power meter setting appropriately. A red fiber coupled laser is connected to Newport silicon photodiode detector using an 884 FC fiber adapter. The power meter is reading a small amount of ambient light going on the detector, so we will press the zero button to zero out the noise level. The analog output of the optical power meter is connected to the input of an oscilloscope. I just turn on the laser, and you observe the changes in the power reading and the signal level on the scope, but you not see the modulated signal. Check the filter setting. The default for the photodiode detector is 5 Hz analog filter on and 10,000 point digital filter on. The analog filter is an electronic low pass filter. I'll remove the analog filter to see the modulation. Now you see the signal, but it's not stable. The reason for this is because the range is set to auto. If set to auto, the power meter will automatically determine the best signal range based on the measured signal level. We should set the signal to the right range, where the signal is not saturated, but with enough signal to noise ratio. Note that the default analog out setting is 0 to 1 volt, but the user can choose from several other options using a computer command. Notice the power meter reading is still stable. Now the reason for this is because of the digital filter, which is a moving average. You can pick any one of 0, 10, 100, 1000, or 10,000 points to be average. If you turn off the digital filter, you will see readings jump around. If you want to collect and download the modulated signal data, you don't want to put heavy digital filter. In the statistics window, we can also save data. You can see this here by hitting the Start Stats tab. We just collected 10,000 samples over one second. This can also be downloaded to a USB thumb drive by inserting in the USB port. Let's move our attention to the oscilloscope screen. The signal has a spike on the rising edge. It can be real or it can be fake. In case it is not a real signal, you should eliminate the spike by applying an analog filter. This will be important, especially when you want to take the peak-to-peak -peak measurement. The power meter will take the data with the predefined time window and will take the difference between the maximum and minimum value. Therefore, the peak-to-peak -peak value will be erroneous if the top or the bottom of the signal is skewed too heavily. In this video, we walked you through how to properly set the filters depending on your measurement requirements. In many applications, you need to measure the power level of a pulsed or modulated light source and our 1936R and 2936R series power meters can be very useful tools.